Hi everybody, welcome to Fast Time Brew. Today I'm doing an experiment with oxidization at the bottling stage and I'm getting a very sore arm from this giantly long title that I'm having to write out. But anyway, this is a thing I saw uh, on another channel and I thought, yeah, that's a good idea. I want to try it myself, only faster. So here I am getting some, um, some brand new bottles out of a box because I want my experiment to be nice and controlled you see so those are all getting cleaned and things because it is bottling day you see for a um for a oh yeah and here i am so i've done a done a little bit of bottling now i'm taking these guys out of the middle so that they're kind of in the good part of the thing so each bottle is getting a different treatment this is number one it's getting squeezed i'm squeezing all the air out of that one see if that does anything number two gets a big fat nothing cap goes on and then leave it alone number three is what i always used to do for no real reason um, and i had really had to stop it because it became a habit which is basically just tipping it upside down and then with number four i am going to shake the bejesus out of it to try and get as much of the oxygen in there as possible and uh, one last one for good luck that's good okay so there's my four guys they're getting labeled so that says I can't read it. Uh, I think it was squeeze, nothing, uh, tip and shake. And they're going to get left uh, for three weeks. And then I will try them out. So here we are. Here's Max. Three weeks later. And so this is a, a golden ale. Oh, I'm just putting them in the right order. <laughs> a golden ale, which I thought was a little bit hoppy. Um, and hoppier beers should suffer worse from oxidization. I'm not sure why, but that's apparently what happens. So I picked this one. Um, and yeah, let's see. Here we go. As, a, as I said, I stole this from another channel. I can't remember which, or I'd give them credit. But anyway, I wanted to find out for myself. So first of all, I'm expecting the most difference from the shaken one, which is in my right hand now. And there might be a slightly darker color on that one, which is kind of... Right, and those guys look kind of the same, so a little bit darker on the oxidized one. This is my this is my nothing one, which is what I normally do, and that tastes like nice fresh beer, so that's good. My squeezed one. Well, let's see that one. That one is there a difference between those? I don't know. I guess I'll have to wait till I've edited the video a little bit later and see what I'm saying. Can't remember what I've. Uh, put these things together and do the commentary like three weeks later but anyway trying them all out those three were all tasted kind of the same and then this one was just a little bit more stale so here we go i'll try the the um this is the nothing and the tip next to each other to see well you know i'm no tasting expert or anything but i can tell a little bit of difference sometimes and i reckon there is just an ever so slight difference between those so what about what about the squeeze and the nothing? I hear you ask. Well, um, the, the squeeze one maybe was slightly better, but even even less slightly, almost imperceptibly better, if anything. So that's how different that one was. And, you know, I reckon maybe there's a risk to damaging the bottles. So, um, yeah, definitely not going to bother squeezing. But that's the moral of the story. This one, as I said, is a bit more stale, and I, it's not much difference. Like if I called the, the squeeze one 10 out of 10, this one's maybe still eight out of 10. It's not that bad. It's, um, as I said, it's three weeks in. So, uh, yeah, um, I may rerun this with a hoppier bottle one time. You might see it in a, a tasting video. Maybe I'll do it to an IPA or something, but anything. Those three are all basically the same, and that one's just a little bit, over there but anyway that was a good fun experiment i do like doing experiments and you know the the the, the shaken one was still drinkable or anything it's not like it was terrible but it just wasn't quite the quality but anyway thank you for watching the video run an experiment yourself or give me an idea for a different experiment or something and um yeah don't also forget to like and subscribe and send a spam email to all your friends your mum and your dad and your long lost brother telling them about how wonderful my videos are and keep drinking beer Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.